Hey YouTube, so as you, it's um I forgot how you pronounce this character's name. Shit, I should go look that up before I do this next time. But anyway, hey, so I want to take a second here to talk about our boy DSP. You know, Mister, I look like a child predator, and everything. That's a joke. Don't take it seriously. If you do, you you, you got more issues than I do. But um, I'm gonna leave a link to a few videos or a few channels that cover this guy better than I do because I don't have the time or brain cells for this shit. And I'm going to give him a shout out on Twitter or whenever I can find him. So, yeah. Um, so, if you know this past weekend, well, let's go with this, the past week overall and this past weekend, okay? So, we can all have a fair, a fair understanding, okay? So, DSP last week did not make the tips gold, and he, I think he rage quit a game, wage quit or whatever a game. I can't remember what it was, right? Whatever. But, well, I want to talk about his is his Friday night Street Fighter session. Now, I'm not an expert on technology. I can tell you that from tell you that all the time. Okay? I don't know nothing about I don't know nothing about that. Okay? What I do know though, and what he's understand is, for someone who supposedly is a professional game video like a a professional fighter game player, which I question it on two reasons: a, the game he played, and b, the lack of competition, which he never argued that. And if you want to say, well, he beat in whatever the one dude was like the year later. No, he didn't. He lost. Get over it. Um, but you think at some point this guy was just stop using the he's using the excuse that all oh, lag, lag, lag. Now I don't know if you guys follow a bunch of these fighting game players. I follow ones for certain games, and they all they always say the same thing: like lag is an issue. Okay, you can't do anything with lag. You just play the game, lose, win or lose the match, and move on to the next one. Right? That's all you do. That's how you have fun. That's how you have fun, right? For Mr. I'm trying to have fun. But he always bitches about lag. But if he's going to bitch about a game, like he's going to bitch about the game having like whatever fucking issues you can think of, like lag, this, that, and everything. One we'll bring like this. DSP, I got a simple challenge for you, okay? If you have a problem with a game in the net code, fix it or shut the fuck up. That's all you have to do, okay? Because you're a fucking idiot at this point. Another thing I want to talk about is he practically did this feasting with the kink day. Now, if you don't want this feasting the kink day, it's practically like he orders a ridiculous amount of food for Mr. I am broke, and he probably throws it away, throws it away afterwards, and he practically just eats his, eats his face full of food. Now, I don't know why anyone would do this. Like, I thought this died a while back. Also, I'm going to be one of the few people in the world that says that he's not eating the food, he's molesting it. He's molesting a food. He's a food molester. We should probably get him banned for that. But whatever, right? But it's just like, I don't understand why you ordered these foods. Thinking that there's some dead in there. Like, you're a fast food. Like, get a friend. But I know you're too antisocial for that shit. But if but if you want to get, like, actual Indian food, like, I go, there's an Indian person who lives down the street from me. She gives out really good food, man. Have you ever had, like, she had, like, Indian tacos, which I didn't know was a thing. But damn, that was great. I would pay for those right now. I'm fucking hungry now. Shit. But anyway, that was that. And the last thing I want to talk about is DSP coming out of the closet. Wait a sec, wait a sec, someone's telling me something. What are you, were you talking about, Jim? Yeah, DSP came out the closet. It was called What Was In His Closet? Why was it called, why would he say What's In His Closet? Was it good? It was trash? Why the fuck would he have trash in his closet? Is he a fucking water? What the hell? Man. Okay, well, so apparently it was DSP, What's In DSP's Closet, which is misleading. I thought he finally came out to be happy. Well, that's apparently a lie. But, um, he apparently goes in there and he was like pulling out a lot of stuff and like a lot of it's fi like a lot of it's really expensive. I think, um, one of the channels I'll list down in the description, James Lesser Express Lane, priced out a lot of the stuff and how much money he can get for it. Now, if you're anyone out there who's going to watch this, like, well, that's what about shipping and everything? I can tell you right now, shipping is way cheaper than what he wants to admit. Okay. If you don't know. Um, I looked at, I did it in my number, in my local number, right? If I just wanted to send a, P, the, my PlayStation VR stuff through the mail, right? Just with the basic box and everything, weight and everything. Okay. I am pack, I am practically playing like under $10 for it. Okay. Do keep in mind, like I send pack, um, I do Christmas giveaways, right? On my main channel. Okay. I get, I have some, send packs of cards, like booster boxes of trading cards overseas, Right. And not one cost me over thirty bucks, okay. So it's kind of awkward how he, how his um, like how his pricing system is thought of, right? Now, 
you can probably tell me on like, well, that's just overseas and everything. Just remember, overseas is more overseas is more expensive than U.S. Okay, if you don't know, in the U.S. you have to just pay a shipping fee. Okay, and overseas you have to pay shipping fees, overseas fees. Some of these countries they charge you for sending a package to there, plus on top of shipping fees. So you gotta keep that in mind. So I hope y'all enjoyed this video. I'll catch y'all later. Bye.